So we're working on priming the house today. And this is, um, we see this a lot right here. And this looks really bad. This is composite siding. I like to just say it's glorified cardboard. It's not really wood. It looks like wood, but it's just made of ground up wood fibers, glue, just kind of like a paper pressed over the top of it. And when it gets wet, swells, starts to come apart, starts to break down, deteriorate. We power washed it over here original paint job over 20 years ago and this has got a lot of heat and um, water damage over here and we're going to be priming this customer uh, can't afford to reside this whole thing but we do have a really good solution to this and we use a product from rust-oleum and this is triple thick and this is a primer super high resin primer right here and it actually just glues this stuff all back together so you don't want to prime this stuff with like an just an oil-based primer or um, just a typical all-purpose oil or all-purpose water because it's just going to soak in and it's not going to really just glue those fibers back together you need something high resin that is a, a thick high viscosity product that's going to hang well and glue this stuff all back together the other thing it does is it smooths the rough surface out it feathers edges out of like peeling paint if you got peeling paint you can spray it you can brush it you can roll it we found that brushing it is the best way to apply it and you want to get it underneath all these laps so all these laps they're all open and need to be glued back together also you know if you're working on a house like this you got to bid it correctly because this is time consuming doing this if you own a home this is one of the reasons why you want to paint you know when you should be painting your house somewhere between 9 and 12 years you should be repainting if you allow it to get like this it's just going to cost you two to three thousand dollars more to repaint your house this is a product i've been using for years now quite a few years typically almost every house up here in idaho i'm going to use you know either a half gallon to a gallon this this whole side is going to take several gallons so this is how it's applied we're just using i'm using a chinex filament brush my go-to brush when i'm using when i'm using peel stop is just a three and a half inch angled sash brush gives me the ability to get underneath the laps really easy you want to make sure you're brushing everything so anything that's blistered anything that's open this is probably one of the worst that i've ever done before right here over here we're down down just almost a, just pure cardboard right here it's going to be rough kind of like sandpaper a little bit because there's so much exposed fibers and they're going to stand up what i'm going to do is just hit it with a sanding block it'll knock that down really fast if i have a lot to do i could just use my three by four sander if you just paint over that without knocking them down you'll definitely see a difference in texture look how thick this stuff is so it hangs super well does it run in order to enhance penetration enhance adhesion you have to back brush it or you have to back roll it now you can do multiple coats if it's really bad like this right here i'm going to sand it i'm going to put another coat and then we're going to put two coats of paint over that what you don't want to do you don't want to apply it by going up and down it's going to build up a lot underneath our grain is going horizontal so i'm brushing it horizontal but you can see how quickly you know i'm applying it settle down let her run feel the glide feel the sun enjoy the ride have some fun. All right, there we go. Our side right here is all uh, triple thick covered. We've sanded it with Ecodyme and sponges and our three by four sander, and then hit some of it a second time. I think once this thing is painted, it's gonna look absolutely brand new. It's on my skin, sound of your voice. It's in my mind, and your smile. 
Well, it's miles and miles so here's away. our finished side right here. We actually uh, did the whole house. We used about four gallons of Zinsser Peel Stop Triple Thick. And this side, you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. Brushed on a coat of uh, Peel Stop Triple Thick on it, back brush paint over it and sprayed paint over it. It looks absolutely amazing now. It's going to hold up. It's going to withstand. It was basically exposed cardboard that was all coming apart. Now it's all glued together and sealed, and it's going to last you know, on this house for a long time. It's an amazing primer. I highly recommend it. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. And I use it once again on almost every single exterior. Zinzer Peel Stop Triple Thick.